The expressions of two curves are given. They intersect at two points, and we need to determine the gradient of the straight line joining these two points. If this were right after you've learned simultaneous equations with multiple unknowns, you might be inclined to solve the two expressions for x and y, since they are indeed two equations for two unknowns, and then you can obtain a gradient by its definition. This is not incorrect, but thanks to coordinate geometry, we do have a better approach for this exercise. The first thing to realize is that because the coefficients of x squared and y squared are identical in both expressions, the two curves actually represent two circles. We can rewrite both expressions for more clarity. For the first one, two squares can be completed following the general expression shown in the red box. So we add 9 because minus 6 is 2 times minus 3, and the square of minus 3 is 9. For the same reason, we add 16 because 8 is 2 times 4, and the square of 4 is 16. So 9 plus 16 will also be added on the right-hand side to maintain equality. Doing this transforms the original expression, where the left-hand side tells us where the center of the first circle is, and the right-hand side indicates its radius. We shall do the same for the second curve, where we add 144 because minus 24 is 2 times minus 12, and 25 because minus 10 is 2 times minus 5. And the second expression will be rewritten as well. The reason we rewrite the two expressions is very straightforward. In 2D coordinate geometry, whenever two circles intersect with each other, they form what's called a common chord. And this common chord will always be perpendicular to the straight line joining the centers of the two circles. This means instead of determining the gradient of the common chord directly, we can determine the gradient of the line joining the two centers, and then make use of the fact that the product of the gradients of two perpendicular lines in 2D is minus 1. So from the two rewritten expressions, we see that the center of the first circle is at 3, minus 4 and the center of the second circle is at 12, 5. Hence, the gradient of the line joining them will be 1, as determined by taking the quotient of their difference in y to their difference in x. So this tells us that the gradient of AB would be minus 1, because the product of the two gradient is minus 1. 